there's a thunderstorm outside, so if you hear thunder, I'm sorry, I don't control the weather. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my top three tips to smash any audition. Tip number one, which is the most important tip, is to prepare as much as you can. When you get your audition through, read everything that's in the audition breakdown make sure you know what material you need to prepare, if they've sent you material or if you have to bring your own material for the audition, where the audition is, what you're auditioning for, what time it is, all of that good stuff. And also if you are given material, try to prepare it as much as you can within the time that you have. I've had auditions where I've had like 12 hours notice, so it's not always possible, but the more familiar you are, the easier it is for you to perform in the audition because you're not glued to the sides. So if you can learn it, that's always helpful. If you don't have time to learn it, that's okay too. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't feel pressure to have to go in without anything. I always take the sides in my hands just in case, you know, with nerves and stuff, I dry, the words are right there and it actually helps me remember it better when you've had to learn something in, at short notice. So don't feel pressure to have to learn things completely by heart without any aid. But the important thing is to just prepare as much as you can and as long as you've done as much as you know you could do in the time, that's good enough. Tip number two is to make a choice and perform it with conviction. And the best way to do that is to make sure that you have a good understanding of the play and the scene. If the show or the play that you're auditioning for is well known, then try and read the script if you have time or at least read a synopsis. If it's a piece of new writing, for example, and you don't have access to a synopsis or the script, then read the scene you've been given thoroughly so you have a clear understanding of who your character is within the context of the scene, what they want, what they're trying to get out of the other person or other people in the scene or out of the audience, etc. And once you've made those choices of what you think they want, what you think they're trying to achieve, make a strong choice of how they are trying to achieve those things and play them with conviction so that the director knows what it is you're acting, if that makes sense. If you don't make a choice if you go into your audition being like well they say this but I don't really know why they're saying what they're saying or doing what they're doing or if you do know what your character wants and how they're trying to get it but you're wishy-washy with that choice that can be kind of difficult in an audition context for the director or whoever's auditioning you to get what you're doing sometimes. So as long as you go in knowing what you're playing, knowing who your character is and what they want, and you're very clear in your knowledge of that, that should hopefully come through in your audition as a strong choice. Making a strong choice isn't about doing something that's completely off the wall. That would make no sense. That's not what you're trying to achieve in making a bold choice. By making a bold choice, you're just playing a choice that makes sense, that is interesting, and playing it with conviction, if that makes sense. So yes, that is tip number two. Tip number three, my final tip, is to be open and receptive. After you've initially read the scene, a director might ask you to play it in a different way. And also, if you're playing with a scene partner, particularly if the scene partner is another actor, they might be responding in a way with their lines that you didn't anticipate when you were preparing by yourself. So it's really important to be open to those things and not be too stuck in the initial choice that you've made. Now, obviously, this seems a bit counterintuitive, going in, making a bold choice, a la tip number two, but then not being rigid in it. The way that I find easiest to get around this is that by and large, unless a director is giving you a completely off the wall direction just to see if you can take it and run with it, whatever happens in the audition room isn't gonna change what your character wants and what your character is wanting to achieve, which if you've done all your preparation, you will know, and it should be very clear, what your character wants in a scene. The difference is how your character achieves that. So for example, if your character wants the other character in the scene to give them something, 
that one is never going to change. What will change is how they go about achieving that. So they might be threatening and threaten the other character to give them the thing. They might be cajoling and try and be kind of warm and sympathetic to the other person to give them the thing. They might blackmail or manipulate the other person to give them the thing. There are so many different ways that a character can achieve what they want from another character. So when you're in your preparation stage for an audition, play with different ways to achieve what your character wants so that you don't get one way of playing stuck in your muscle memory. Then when you go to the audition, pick the choice that you think is strongest for you to play in your initial read. So those are my top three tips for smashing any audition. Make sure that you're prepared, make a strong choice and perform it with conviction and be open and receptive to your scene partner and to direction. So I hope you found those tips helpful. If you did, please like, leave a comment if you want and share this video with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends.